right, I'm in um, Western Zoyland Church now. I've done, take notes of photos, and I've just noticed a swallow has got in here. Look, see it flying about. And then the other place, they had like um, a meshed gate door. But maybe they let them come in here. Might do, might they? Reverend Joseph Aldridge, seven years and a half, vicar of this parish, departed August the 22nd, 1808, age 46. This is where Oliver Cromwell came and did all his damage here. He used it as a stable, apparently. Look at that, though. I don't know if that's called something like a road screen. A lot of them are taken down. When Prince William marries, um... Kate Middleton, I think it's in Westminster Abbey, they've got a big screen and half the audience won't be able to see. But that ceiling is magnificent. As well, with those all the angels, nearly as good as um, Barry St Edmunds, but Barry St Edmunds, St Mary's there is just massive. But this is still pretty magnificent, isn't it? Really, they're like carved angels. Same with this, I don't know if it's called a rood screen. Don't know what, I should have to start learning some of the terminology, I reckon. Yeah, I used to come here as a child. <coughs> we used to cycle out. And, um... The old and the new, look. That, um... Image there. This is obviously dedicated to the RAF because they had um, an airport just behind us in the war. Pretty magnificent, this, isn't it? <sighs> Get that old door up. And of course, over here, this is, comes from Blake Museum. I remember this structure as a child. This model of the Battle of Sedgemoor, July the 6th, 1685. We got the rebel army on this side. And when it was in the museum, all this used to light up. See them with their cannons and their horses. Their pitchforks. This was the rebel side, and their smocks. And we crossed, there's one of the reins. There's the king's army, all in red. I remember this well. That might be like the hospital or something there. Yeah, this used to light up, I used to love it. We used to press the button and it all used to light up. Belongs here in this church, I think. Now it's very, very old. This was made a long time ago. This model, I've known it throughout my childhood. In a big box, yeah, it used to light up. See, it's the electric.
That's St Mary's Church, Western Zoyland, everybody. That looks pretty spectacular, that ceiling up there, look. As well, and stained glass window behind. Which I don't think we'll be able to see. And that. Yeah, because there aren't many stained glass windows in here. Because this place was probably wrecked by the... By Cromwell and all sorts of people. The Monmouth Rebellion. Lots were hanged here in Western Zoyland, actually. Monmouth fled when he realised all was lost. Yeah. The bloody assizes. They were brutally punished, the followers of Monmouth. But as James II wanted to make an example of the West Country people to prevent any further rebellion. Anyone who could not account for his movements was arrested, resulting in 1,500 arrests. Judge Jeffreys presided over the trials and became known as the Bloody Assizes, Bloody Judge Jeffreys. Yeah, I remember 1685. Who were the rebels? The middle sort who live well, the working trades who work hard but feel no want, and the country people, farmers, who fare indifferently. This was a commoner's rebellion. And then they have got case studies. Henry Pittman was a Quaker doctor from Yeovil who wrote to Taunton with his brother to see Monmouth's army and was persuaded to join. Richard Godfrey was a farm labourer from Chedzoy who guided Monmouth's troops across the moor on the night watch, on the night march. And this little story book look here with pictures. All about the, the attack, how it happened. Charles I, King of England, Henrietta Maria of France. And that's just about um, a little tree there. The Battle of Sedgemoor. It's a story, see? Chedsoy. Some Chedsoy villagers watched the battle from near the Chedsoy windmill and a nature gave their eyewitness accounts to the vicar of Chedsoy. After the battle, the fleeing rebels were pursued into Chedsoy cornfield. Some of the dead were not found until after the harvest. They still find them now in the battlefield, I believe. Some rebels were deported. That's Monmouth entering Bridgewater. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Right then, over and out for now.